All right, you guys. It already primed my face off camera, moisturized off camera, face mist off camera. I did all those things, make sure my skin was ready for this. Um, I went ahead and made myself a margarita. I am just a little nervous about how this is gonna go. But you should probably get yourself something to drink because it's gonna be a very fun tutorial, especially for me and my face because we have no idea what's about to happen. I'm gonna jump right in and I'll just see you guys in a few seconds. The brushes is what we're reviewing today, but for the sake of powder, it simply must be done with the beauty blender and it has to be done. We don't actually have a foundation brush in here. One of these brushes, the ones that are shaped in the flat manner, want to be a foundation brush. One set has a brush that claims to be foundation in its shape. And this set has nothing that would claim to be a foundation brush. So we are going to use the very first set I showed you in the last video, it's the set with the black handles, this guy here, okay? And we are going to use, out of these brushes, the only large ones that we have are these three. And out of these three, I think the best one to use for foundation would probably be this one. As you can see, it's so flat that you can see the sheen on that. I'm just gonna start with that to get my foundation together. Since they're both applied right on top of each other, we're just gonna go in and pray. Okay, so we're gonna do half the face with this and we'll see how it turns out. And if it turns out okay at all in any sense of the word, we will keep going. If not, we will be correcting this with a beauty blender and then we will go on top of this side that's with the flat brush with the beauty blender as well to fix it if it doesn't turn out correct. So, as you can see, it applies the makeup on there. Does it do it beautifully, you guys? I really don't think so. I mean, it doesn't look streaky. I am doing a pat and then swipe technique just to make sure that the product is in and then swiping it just to make sure that it's blended. Um, so I'm not really allowing it to streak my face, but it's not the most beautiful coverage I've ever seen. Um, so, I mean, I don't really like this entire area. That looks like someone threw black, brown, trash poop on my face, and it's just not beautiful. And we're just going to take what's left on the hand and get it on this brush. I literally will swipe it right up, and then I'll apply there, apply there, and buff in from there. So as you can see, the coverage on this side is a lot more natural. And that's obviously because a lot of the product does go into the brush when you use a brush. Um, it goes all the way in the back. So there is a lot of product that got dismissed into that side. This side kept more of the product. As you can see, my face is darker. You can see more of the foundation. My foundation shades are a little bit darker than my skin because I highlight on top of my foundation, which ends up getting this shade in my chest. So I'm okay with this side. This side, I'm okay with the color-ish. But the look of this is not beautiful. I mean, seriously, you guys, look at that. Oh, look at this nose, darling. Dreadful. Let's fix this and I'll be right back. So far, I am not impressed with the first brush. So we're gonna move on. I'm a little nervous because of how that went. Most of these brushes, honestly, are eyeshadow brushes. So I'm going to find one or two of them that I can use for other parts of face makeup before we move into the eyes. I simply love having countless eyeshadow brushes, especially when you're doing a fashion show or a wedding because you wanna just be able to pick up another blending brush that you know works in the same shape and go for another client. Now, this one, looks like a crease definer, but I almost wonder how this would work as like a, a concealer brush. Because it's so fluffy at the actual edges here, I, I think I'm gonna just use this for the eyes. I imagine this would be great for either blending concealer, maybe. There was a brush that I talked about, and I think in this exact same set that also looked like it would be good for blending concealer, but miss. 
this one's flat. Like I was saying in my last or in my initial review for these, um, this one's flat. So maybe we'll try this one. See you soon. I made a stop because I initially remembered that I wanted to do some concealer blending with those brushes. I saved those two brushes. So we're gonna try one on each side. So we have the flat, fluffier one and then the one that's straight and domed. I did try to give this self, give this brush a little bit of leeway. So I went for a very, very matching shade concealer and then very little of a brighter one. Just so that it could blend a bit easier and I don't know, I guess I tried to make it easy on the brush. So initial thoughts, blending is fine. I like the stiffness of this brush. It's really doing a good job of blending okay, I would say. Um, no issues just yet. Because it's straight, it's not blending the concealer right in my cre crease into my eye. It's not blending the concealer because of how straight this brush is into uh, like the downward part of my eye, but it is in fact blending the concealer. So I'm not, I'm not opposed to it, not at all. Um, it definitely works for getting right up under the brow and right in the hood of this specific area. And it gets really close to the brown because it's so straight. I can make sure that I'm not actually blending out my eyebrow, unless of course that's what I wanted, but I can get really, really close and blend really, really closely to that. So, okay, so we're gonna do the other eye with again, this brush and see what this brush is talking about. Okay, so I can immediately feel a huge difference in how well this blends versus the other brush. This brush, as you clearly just saw, blended that like magic, honey. I do also like that I can get really close to the brow. I have to be a tad bit more careful because the bristles are a little bit more fluffy on this one. I mean, look at that, guys, really, yeah. This side did fantastic. No. Yes. No. So we're gonna fix this side with the same brush that we used to do this side. So again, I like how close that gets, um, but it does need some assistance in blending it down into the actual eyelid part. Since now, whatever brush I blend my concealer, especially under my eyebrow with, I usually blend the edges of my nose. So I'm finding that this is also working for that. And if it works for that, it will probably work very well for blending in between my eyebrows. So let's experiment with that. So I like to start with just like a blend situation, the width of the brush first. Um, and then, yeah, I'll kind of move on from there. This probably will be okay with blending this concealer as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I think this will be good for buffing the concealer out. It won't be good for fully blending it into the foundation and making it look seamless, but first, I forget who it was that I heard say this, but they were like, we're gonna toast the edges. And I was like, that is too cute. I love it. Um, so as you can see, I think that blended pretty nicely. The initials are okay. I mean, these brushes were, like I said, super cheap, you guys. At least nothing's falling apart yet. And the other thing I like about these brushes is the length on this. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but maybe I've been socially distancing my hands from my fix. So six inches away, people six inches wet so we are back honey okay and not only are we back but the face is now came out looking like a goddess let me calm down now, so today we're gonna do a smoky eye honey that's what we're gonna do so and honestly that was one of the biggest ways i thought to use as many of the brushes as possible and we are gonna see what the true tea is Jumping in, we're gonna just grab the Tardis Pro palette. I really like this palette. I think I used it in my last video. As well. So we're just gonna go in and apply some of that. Um, tap the excess off or blow the excess off, should I say? But yeah, we're just gonna begin. Now this one's a lot lighter, I'm seeing, um, in the sense of the bristles are longer. So it's applying the product a lot lighter than my more stiff brushes. It is still getting the job done though. So that's, that's what matters. So because it's lighter, I'm just gonna pack and then blend. Oh yeah, and see that seemed to work really well there. And get that. Uh. 
for the most part, I'm actually really enjoying the brushes. The amount of brushes I got, you guys, is ludicrous for the price. It's fat. So to start this smoky eye off, we are gonna need a nice fluffy crease brush, and I'm gonna grab this puppy right here on with the shade Whimsy and blow off the excess. And I know for a fact this brush is going to be very smoky because of how fluffy this brush actually is. So I'm just gonna start there and I'm gonna work that in circular motion. So you're not gonna have as much color payoff but I'm using a brush like this to do this technique. However, the application is seamless. Like, I'm just gonna keep doing that a little bit. We're gonna jump right into something a lot warmer and a true orange, honey. And we're gonna jump into a Juvia's Place palette. Yes. So we're moving into the set of brushes that is actually shiny and beautiful. Let's try this set, you guys. Let's try one of these puppies. Okay, so um, whenever I do a smoky eye, it just really depends on the kind of smoky eye I would like to do. Today, I want a warm smoky eye. I'm gonna add more orange than I think I generally would so that it has more of a warm factor versus a blending factor. The Whimsy color kind of blends into my skin because it's more of a rust shade. Um, whereas the true orange of this orange really is orange. So it's obviously matching a bit more than I think the orange is. So I really enjoy that. So far so good people. We're gonna move on to the third set of brushes. That the kind of work that I wanna do is in this set. I'm gonna pack on some shadow. We're gonna start with a, a third palette here, actually. We're gonna move on to Oud from the Desert Dust palette. Um, I think this means old in Dutch, almost positive. Oh yes, this brush is, you guys, these brushes are great. And when I say this brush picks up the product and doesn't put it back down, the Huda Beauty eyeshadows actually don't have much fallout to begin with, but I mean, <laughs> that picked it right up. We're just gonna take the original fluffy or -er brush from just before when we were using the True Orange and blend that back into the crease. I'm gonna go back to that exact same brush, a black out of the Tardis Pro palette, again here. Punk in the Tardis Pro, and it is their True Matte Black. And I'm going to begin to pack this on the lid to the gods. Does anybody want to tell me what Sheen is creating out there? Because like this brush just shuts shit all the way down. I'm gonna do another layer, see if it gets darker. Oh. Oh. Yes, that is what you want to see, people. Blend this right into that crease. This is a tapered brush, so it's really going to get in there and smoke everything out along the edges. It's really going to toast those edges, hopefully. Let's see what happens. So, that is enjoyable. That That's enjoyable, but you guys... I've seen better. Um, we're just going to blend some more around those edges before we move on. Same thing on the other side, people. Mm -hmm. No one wants one black eye. So I'm liking this, but we're gonna start the next step to my smoky eye. I always grab my fabulous liquid liner. Immediately grab a flat, small brush but it has to be one that can also blend around and toast the edges. So it's gotta be flat and able to like really keep the product where I want it in a certain way, but it also has to be fluffy enough for me to move the product around so that I can blend the edges of it. I think the brush I'm gonna use for this today is a nice domed, rounded situation here. This brush is gonna be really good for making sure that the product stays where I want it to, as well as gets toasted around the edges like I want it to. So I always work very quickly whenever I do this technique. And I blend the edges first. The trick is to do this part in stages. So again, I'm doing this in stages. 
and really working very quickly. It executes really beautifully. I love the way it executes. I really, really do. Especially when you top it with a great shadow on top of that. You just have to work quite quickly. The Hossa Bentley will own these brushes. So I think that these are winners, you know? Seriously, you guys, I think these brushes are pretty great. I'm really enjoying them, but we're gonna move on, you know, cause this smoky eye is not done. So again, we're gonna take this Lancome palette. Cause I do like the black better. It's a better quality black eyeshadow. And we're going to go back to that same brush that we used to apply the original black shadow. We're just gonna flip the brush over and apply more. So, so is anyone gonna say anything right? about this piece of salt on your nose, bruh? Uh, Closest to the just shot, horrible. However. Oh, you got it. Oh, I'm so happy. I was definitely nervous about that. Okay. Shady. Very shady. Just gonna blend that into the lid a little bit more, or from the lid into the crease a bit more. And then you leave it alone. And that's the trick that I found with my smoky eyes. It's less is more so i really will just blend a bit into what i've already created and then from there i will leave it alone we are going to go back up under the eye a bit and get this all squared away we actually will be done um i used as many brushes as i could um i think i'm gonna do a bit of a line or two just to use some more brushes for you guys I'm not really concerned about the rest of them being good or bad. Oh, there's a lot of salt from this margarita. I think the ones with the best quality to me are the set that I'm holding, which is the one with the tan feel um, or the tan look. I originally thought that the more shiny brushes were the best quality, but I'm finding that I really like the tan ones a bit more as I use them, just as far as quality. I like this brush, like this one's definitely gonna be one of the brushes, like I said earlier, that I will be adding to my permanent collection. So really liking this one. I'm actually gonna use this to go under the eye too because of its shape um, and just smoke that out a bit. Back into Shade Whimsy and the orange from the Juvia's Place palette. We're gonna smoke this bottom lash line out even more. Um, we are gonna move into taking that black liner and we are going to wing this out a bit. That is a lift if you've never had one before. I had and did a little concealer cleanup while you guys were away. Jumping right into a nice flat one. Now these were a bit too thick for me to do my actual eyebrow with. So I was thinking how great would they be to apply the black shadow to connect to the liner under there. So that's what we're gonna do with these. Then we're gonna use another one of those dome shaped brushes to like smoke this out with a different warmer color. Grabbing another one of those diamond looking brushes. Gonna go back with the orange shadow from Juvia's Place and smoke that right out. I look this crazy black would need like a great lash so we are definitely gonna apply one today so i'm gonna do that off camera do my lips off camera and i'll be back i'm back but there was one brush that we didn't try that i'm excited to try that we talked about during the intro i believe it was and that's the fan and as you can see they're graded in the size so i'm gonna go for the biggest one because my face is the biggest and i'm gonna use um, I threw a highlighter, as you can see, in my um, a tear duct. It's Trophy Wife by Fenty. And it's very, very, very pigmented. So I can't go in with this highlighter strictly on my face first. So I'm going to use a blush that has a little bit of a sheen to it. This is a Lancome one. I've had this one for quite some time as well. Really, really love it. But I'm wearing this blush, but it's the only sheen I have. So I'm gonna add a little bit more and see how this brush performs um, here with this to start and then we're going to apply trophy wife on top of this 
So one of the things that I'm finding is I have to use the brush very flatly against my skin for the fan to actually work with my cheekbone shape. So that's one thing I've already noticed. Mm -hmm. uh, this brush, let's try the brows. Yeah, that's pretty. I am gonna need a second brush though because it's not really creating the entire C. Oh, here we go. Now we are going to take the fan brush. Actually gonna take the smallest one first. Since I have three of them, I'm going to build this highlighter because it is so pigmented. Just watch. One swipe. Absolutely just, just it's very pigmented people. But I'm really happy. Cool. You know, gonna be in the house, but this is really nice. Um, please don't ask me what lash I'm wearing. I just know it's from the beauty supply, you guys. It was like $3.99, but it's so long. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching today. I like the brushes, they're good. I think you guys should probably go ahead and try to get yourself some if you want to start off with like a small we're not small, but a somewhat large collection and you're a beginner. I think these are great brushes for beginners to start with. And I think they were very inexpensive. I would put links for you guys, but to be perfectly frank, I can only put a link to the Sheen website as the brushes were a uh, sale. They don't have that sale option always available for the possibility of a link. So you guys will have to check that out for a flash <laughs> sale. Have a great day. I'm going to go and finish making myself my third margarita of the evening. And we're going to have ball you guys come back and see me don't forget like i said like comment subscribe all that good stuff Other watch another video I'm sure there'll be one somewhere i'm sure i'll be coming out with something because i have lots of ideas yeah uh -huh. they just keep coming so so yeah bye